This is a Dell PowerEdge 2950 rack mount server. It is a two unit server in terms of rack space. This here is just a slide out shelf. Uh, we have the correct rails to mount this on uh, on order. So uh, right now it's sitting on the shelf where the old server resided previously. Uh, the front is just actually a bezel that comes off. I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works. Remove that and you'll see all of the hard drive bays. Now there's six hard drive bays in this model. It is possible to get them with four and also with eight using a smaller um, hard drive that's out now. Let's go ahead and bring this out. Right now the server is off. Let me show you something right quick. It's possible that you may have several of these and so what they've done here is they put a little screen where you can actually in the BIOS set the name of the system and that will let you differentiate this one from let's say all the ones above and below it that uh, look exactly alike. Also there's this button when you push it it blinks the screen and also uh, blinks a corresponding light on the back so that if you needed to get to the back side and you wanted to identify which computer it was that you were working on on the front side it would be easy to do so. It's just a real simple thing to eliminate confusion. There's also a button on the back that uh, does the same thing. I can push it and stop. Here's the server. Now it's I have it slid out on a shelf um, these are not the standard Dell rails. Um, you could buy standard Dell sliding rails, but they're a little overpriced and they actually don't fit this particular rack because of um, the design of the back end of the rail. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this open and we're going to remove the cover and talk a little bit about what's inside. Okay, so here we have uh, inside a Dell PowerEdge 2950. You will see a row of fans. These are just fans. They're designed to be easily removed. Okay, replaceable fans. These uh, spin up very fast at the beginning and they actually will adjust themselves up and down depending on the ambient temperature uh, to try to keep everything cool. Those fans are responsible for cooling everything from the hard drives up front all the way to all the components back here. It has this little duct system here that is specifically designed to um, channel the air through the processors as well as a little bit of, of uh, cool air to come around that side of the heat sink and pass through your memory. Now the memory itself has little heat sinks on them. Um, the, the cooling design on this uh, server is is just excellent. Um, as you can see here we have four slots taken. This will support up to eight slots. We have here in the in the back expansion slots. Because of the height of the server which you can see is only two units. This Ignore this. This is a shelf. That's the entire thickness of this machine. In order to accomplish that they've had to rearrange some of the components. First of all you might notice they're using a laptop sized CD-ROM drive. That helps cut down the thickness. They also relocated the RAID controller to this area over here. It connects to the hard drive backplane. Backplane is just a way of avoiding all those pesky hard drive connection cables uh, that you might find in another type of computer. Basically, instead of having the cables, the hard drives just line up perfectly with the connector on this circuit board and you can just slide them right in. Other than that, they're a standard hard drive. Um, this particular server, we had uh, put serial attached SCSI drives, SAS drives. They're 15,000 RPM um, Seagate uh, drives. They're very nice. They're very loud when they start up. Um, basically, all these circuit boards that you might not recognize are just space-saving features um, 
or cable saving features, it's they've really put a lot of thought into eliminating the cable clutter that you find in most systems, especially with all the power supply cables and IDE cables and all these cables that are just that just clog up the airflow of a standard um, uh, tower type of server. Um, also, there's room here for two power supplies. This, there's it's hard to see, but um, the, hard, the power supply can actually slide out the back here. I don't know if you can see that. There's uh, also an empty slot for an additional one. That's so that you could have two power supplies in case one fails. You could also connect one power supply to one circuit, uh, electrical circuit that is, and one power supply to the other electrical circuit so that if one breaker trips or maybe you have a generator backup on one, um, you would not lose power by unplugging one or the other. This particular server we ordered with the the um, Dell Remote Access Card. Sometimes they abbreviate that, but the um, fact is, is that's like a little miniature Linux computer that lives inside your server and can turn your server on, off, uh, could provide um, display and keep like a KVM redirection over IP, basically, um, so that you could adjust, let's say, BIOS settings from your home, from your house. You could actually uh, have the server completely off, like right now, and I could still log into the management interface. It actually has a separate um, Ethernet port that you could connect to a totally different network, um, and you could actually control that independent of the rest of the computer. The operating system basically is unaware that this exists. Um, in fact, <clears throat> this, this server right now has no operating system on it. It's brand new and you could actually log in and um, start to set up an operating system if you uh, needed to. You can even upload a disk image. Um, I'm not sure what the maximum size is, but you can upload a small disk image and it will emulate a floppy drive so that you could actually basically put a boot disk in there from your computer at home. So a lot of neat stuff that card does. It's definitely worth the, the money, I think. Uh, Dell wants about $300 for that, which is not uh, not too bad considering uh, what servers cost these days. That's basic overview of the Dell PowerEdge 2950. It's a nice server. Uh, we've got three of them and have been very happy. I know some people have many more than that and um, are also satisfied.